Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I don't know where we left off last. Um, is that a world boss? Oh, fuck. This is a world boss. Huh. Oh, you know what? Let's travel in one direction, right? Yeah, maybe. Ah! Ow. That I'm being discovered. Just gently. I'm so sorry. We tried to dig you out, but the shaft started collapsing around us. I pray none of you suffered long. I will personally tend to this flame so your souls are never shrouded in darkness. Well, that's sad. Mount in this location. Well, okay. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to go to one particular objective because in the last episode, I think I. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did um, this Alton character or a monster or whatever the. How do we pronounce the ship? It knocked my ass off my mount. Keep your head down. The invaders in percolating mire are indiscriminate in their killing. I brought you a letter from Rabin E, or I, or... Argonian names are so... Some of them are, you know, easier to, to pronounce in other, th than others. What? I haven't heard from her in years. Why did she decide to write me after all this time? She and Kinash, my wife, did not get along. But now Kinash is dead. It's comforting to know Rabine still thinks fondly of me. Ja Reed said he's leaving. Not leaving me, not exactly. Going to Black Marge. He's never been there there in his life, but apparently someone named Fal Zok there can help him. And he told me halting, haltingly how he thinks he's broken. I told him I love him the way he is. That it doesn't matter. He looked at me and asked it if if it had ever hurt me had to nod then yes he said it does matter i cried so did he we went to bed without saying anything more it's 19th of brain's hand we arrived in percolating mire today percolating mire today there was a house ready for us for jar reed really there wasn't a bed for me was I was angry at Jari for le leaving what we had together. It it's taken us years to take to take my fa father's slave pan plant plantation and turn it into an ethical business. Years to get the community to accept Dun Dunmer Argonian marriage here. It's back to square one. A lizard's woman call a lizard woman call called me his friend. When you, you use the word wife, called her, I called her a name. I don't think she spoke, she, she spoke the language, but she got the point. Later, the Dominion landed in, the Dominions landed in Shadowfin. I worry about the people here. Dun, Dunmary villagers trained for invasion. Here, they're brave, but unarmed. We're in danger. I asked Jari to leave. But he says he's making progress. I told him I think he's fine. He snapped at me, 
that I don't get to decide whether he's fine or not. Wow. Thank the three. Someone who looks like they can handle themselves in a fight. My husband's in danger. Please help us. What's wrong? I mean, I only assume what's wrong. The Dominion invaded. They trapped my husband, Jarit, along with the other villagers. I hid and got out past the guards, but I won't leave without my husband. How can I help? Those soldiers are terrorizing our people. Kill them. Rescue everyone you can. And please look for Jarit. I don't know what the Dominion's doing here, but they said something about crystals. I'll sneak back in. Meet me near the village center. I'll do what I can. They didn't expect to see a Dunma, so I made sure they didn't. I can be stealthy at need. What's your husband doing here? He was born to slaves in Vardenfell. And yes, he's Argonian, but he's different. Distant. Haunted. Listens to words more than meaning. But he's my husband, and I love him. The Tree Minder lured him here. Why did the Tree Minder do that? The Tree Minder says Argonians born away from the Hist are damaged, but they can be healed by some sort of ritual to join them with a the Hist. I don't know. I don't want them to change Jarit. And why does the Dominion want him, or the others? You said the invaders mentioned the crystals? Yes, though I didn't catch all of it. Crystal shackles, buckles, I'm not sure. Run free, Argonians. Nice acrobatic skills. Not. Eternal thanks. My eternal thanks. Save Jarit. He's in that hut over there. I'll never forget it.
What did they do to him? What's wrong with my husband? Are you both all right? Jarit won't talk to me. He ran up and hugged me, but he won't speak to me. At least we're both alive. We're together again, thanks to you. Ever since you rescued him, Jarit won't talk. Look in his eyes. It's like he's not there at all. I had harsh words with the tree minder. She won't talk to me now. Would you ask her for help? Where can I find her? Her hut's just up this path. She doesn't trust me. And after our recent clash, I doubt she'll want me to stay. But I'll do whatever she says it takes to heal Jarit. I'll get him. I'll get the tree minder's help. I wish we'd never come here. But Jarit insisted we'd find a way to fit in. What's your husband doing here? He was born to slaves in Varden. Oh, okay. I already asked that. Never mind. God I'm fucking damn it. About this. to settle this. To leave her. Did I actually put it in my bank? Must have, must have, must have. Yes, I did, okay. very rare run of our pe people to be bo born away from the hist we are in a very re real way part of the hist to be born away, away is to be bo born without something essential for most of my my life and service as a healer th this is remained a theoretical I issue that is until jarid though born in in slavery he's done well since the pact and our emancipation is he, he, he even married a Dunmer, the daughter of of the Narcissus fa family, family who owned his parents? While I view such a reunion with personal distaste, he speaks well of his ability to interact in a, in society despite his obvious disadvantage. Make no mistake, in Argonian society, he is disadvantaged. He's unable to read social clues, subtle mo movements of muscle and tail that most of us take for granted. We occasionally have difficulty reading the emotions of other races. Jarit has that problem even with fellow, fellow Argonians. He listens to spoken words and is in, insensitive to their tone. Surely being born away from the hist has deprived him of emotional intu intuition. He brought his elven wife with, with him to her percolating mire. She's not welcomed by all, though she draws him out socially, which has been invaluable in trying to learn about how he thinks. Perhaps proximity to a thriving history will help Jari gain the intuition the rest of us take for granted. Welcome today. You've protected those who cannot protect themselves. Jarid stops speaking. Can you help him? Like many born away from the Hist, Jarid is withdrawn, but never entirely silent. She thinks I blame her, but Fainvildan has done nothing to harm him or this village. No, 
It's Jarit they wanted, and together we can find him. What do you mean? He's outside right now. The Dominion clearly targeted Jarit. As his spirit reunited with the Hist, it was open to suggestion. Weak, and now it's lost. I need freshly picked Lanciata Foliota to track his spirit. It grows within our mushroom cave. Get some. Do we need anything else? Just that. Know that once you touch the Lanciata Foliota, it will only work on you. Bring it here, and I'll guide you to a place Jarit's spirit could be. Be careful of the cave's Wamasu. They're a necessary but dangerous part of our cultivation. Okay. And then I'm here. Yeah. Get me up. Get me up. Everything's ready for the blessing. All I need is a Lanciata Foliota, and then we can start. Here is the mushroom. Good. The Lanciata Foliota will put you in a dreamlike state. You will feel as if you're Jarit himself, and you will know what his spirit needs to reunite with his body. Follow your instincts. Is there anything else I should know? You'll be able to reach Sharit's spirit wherever it wanders. Close your eyes, chew carefully. Concentrate on Sharit, and the Hist will guide you to him. Seek Sharit's memories. Say what should have been said. Our overseer. We 
should have sent you to Black Marsh. You weren't meant to be a slave, Jarit, my son. What do you mean? Sithis blessed us with a clutch of eggs. Master offered to send them back to Black Marsh, but we chose to keep you all with us. If we had listened to him, none of you would have been born slaves. Can you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Did what you thought best. Then I will die knowing whatever my mistakes, and they were many. I will be at peace with my son. Rest Thank now, you. Father. Memories remain tangled. This weakens our roots. Jarit, I've seen you talking to my daughter without bowing your head. Never do that again. I will talk to her when and how I please. Is that how you address your master? You're a slave. If you look at Fane again, I'll put your eyes out. Do you understand? We love each other. You can't stand in our way. Why, you scally little piece of... You'll suffer for this. Fane and I belong together. Whether you like it or not. You've untangled memories. The hist blesses you. Jarit, I heard you talking to Tree Minder Folzok. You're not going to percolating Maya, are you? You know I'm different. Reminder can help me. Different isn't wrong. I love you the way you are. Do you mean it? I can come with you? I know it won't be easy for us. Jarit, we're stronger together than apart. You're right. Let's let's just keep just be quiet for a while. Come. Meet me beneath the his tree. Separating body and spirit. Healing cannot be complete while the corruptor lurks nearby. Who are you? I am part of the Hist. A part you can perceive and help. Carathel of the Dominion steals my memories and weakens my fibers, using Jarit's fragile new connection to reach me. What must I do? Stop Carathel. He enters the Hist through Jarit's mind to take my memories. Carathel's treachery will kill me, and my children will suffer. I will send you down to the Hiss roots. Kill Carathel and save Jarit. Ready. you several times in fact what happened i killed the elf responsible for jarit's problems there's more to it isn't there the dominion used crystals on our people pulling at them from inside their heads they said but some don't remember it at all why the hiss to told me the dominion mages were stealing memories ah that clears it up Jarit has developed a strong connection to the Hiss through this experience. Something he lacked since his birth. He must become a healer. Please convince him of his destiny. Talk to him. I'm glad to see you awake. 
You're feeling better. Yes, my thanks. Now that I can hear the hist, Treeminder Falsock wants to teach me to be a healer. Fane wants us to return to Narciss. I don't know what to do. What do you want to do? I want Fane by my side wherever we live. Clearly she's not happy in the mire, and I wasn't happy in Narciss. You've traveled. I trust you. What would you do? What would you do in Narciss? Life won't be easy for me as a former slave. Even with Fane's help, the best I could hope for is work as a laborer. But her family's there, and she misses them. I value her happiness. Will Fane leave you if you stay? She wouldn't leave, and she'd be unhappy. But once my training's complete, we could move elsewhere. Maybe a city like Stormhold would suit both of us. Fane, become a healer. I've always wanted to be a healer. Fane and I can go anywhere once my training is complete. Thank you for helping me decide. Problem. If Sharit's happy, I'll make the best of it. You. Feels like I've been at this forever. Why hasn't he come home? Where can he be? Who are you looking for? My son, with Deemvo. The accursed Dominion Dryskins dragged several young ones out of the village. A few came back, but not my son. You helped our village. Please, can you look for him? The Dominion must have set up camps nearby. Wait here, I'll be back. Please, don't hurt me. I have nothing of value. Won't harm you. I'm not a bandit. Thank the eight. Forgive me. It seems like everything in this horrible swamp is trying to kill me. I saw brigands on the road earlier and hid my belongings for fear they'd be stolen. Now I can't remember where I left them. I was so frightened. I may be able to help. Would you? Really? I'm not used to kindness from strangers. I'd welcome your help. I put my things in several hollow tree stumps, then I got all turned around. All of the stumps here look alike, and there are crocodiles everywhere. Then we'd better start searching. Huh? 
You did it! Now follow me, quickly! Look, see? That abandoned boat is my only chance. Please, give me my things. I need to get away from here. You chance for what? I don't understand. There's no time. I've already had years of my life stolen from me. Please, just give me my belongings. Years of your life stolen? What are you talking about? Shayer's teeth! She's coming! Keep those blasted trinkets. I have to get out of here before she catches me! Help me push it into the Somehow, water! I knew I'd find you here. Thank you for returning my cereal. I thought she might make for the boat after she ran away. You've saved me quite a bit of trouble, friend. You what mean can by... I give you in return? What do you mean by your cereal? Please, don't let her take me back. I'll give back the trinkets, but I can't go back. These items don't belong to you? Well, but these items belong to her. Yes, they're her property, and so am I, according to Vardenfell law. Why should I honor the laws of slavers? Thank you for returning. I mean it quite literally. She's my property, a slave fairly traded from High Rock. Is that my locket? Did she run off with that too? I don't work with slavers. She has a good life. She's well looked after. You know these Bretons. They're such children. Surely you have no objections. The Bretons are not our allies. I am well within my rights. She's my property, as surely as that locket is. But if you're determined to free her, there's nothing I can do about it. You're the one who's armed here, after all. Good, Serial, you, you can go, f you're all free to go. I'll take those trinkets, if you please. You've robbed me enough for one day. I thank the three my father didn't live to see this. You should thank them as well. So, you've found yourself a champion, eh, Surreal? Know this. If I see you again, we will not part under such amicable terms. She's going to let me go? Just like that? You should leave before she changes her mind. I must get as far away from here as possible before Aldina captures me again. Perhaps I'll stow away on a merchant's ship. I doubt anyone else would show me such kindness. Goodbye. And thank you! I thought the pact was full of people like Aldina. I'm glad you proved me wrong. I won't forget your mercy, friend. Good to know. Have you found my son? Others return from the bog, but not with Dimvo. I found his body and his necklace. Our former master gave him this necklace. My son wore it to remind himself that not every dark elf is cruel. At least with Dimvo, return to the hist of free Argonians. Thank you for finding him. You're not with the Renredra pirates, are you? No, you don't have their stink. I could use some help, and I swear by the sap of my hist that it won't do your purse any harm. What do you mean? The Renridra are stab-first-talk-later types. You're something else. What a pity. If you were a pirate, you'd know how to get what Barvin and I came here for. You're after the pirate's treasure? Believe it or not, 
Barvin and I are researching Argonian ruins, and the pirates are in our way. I'm sure they have plenty of loot, but that's not what we're after. If you're interested, ask Barvin to fill you in. He's watching the lower road. I'm interested. Barvin is near the log bridge to the pirate camp. He's been watching them, waiting for our chance to get those relics. Tell me more about these relics. I would if I could. The relics here date from before my people stopped building Zanmirs and started living in mud huts. We know they're an important link to my people's past. Cool. Those pirates are digging and drinking. We can take advantage of that. Are you Barvin? Her partner looks under rocks at me. About time he found someone to help. I'm glad you're here. We've traveled all over Black Marsh searching for ancient Argonian relics. We finally get a solid lead, only to find pirates ahead of us with a treasure map. If they have a map, then they'll find the treasure. Maybe not. This map is a stone puzzle in three pieces. When you find one piece, it finds the next. The pirates don't know what they've got, but my partner looks under rocks does. Get those pieces to us at the Zanmir, and we're in. And you'll get a cut. Tell me about more about these relics. I don't know as much as looks under rocks, but just look at these ruins. Zanmirs, the Argonians call them. The lizard's ruins go way back, and this one's old, real old. Anything from that time must be valuable. I, I mean, significant. All right. Everybody will get their cut. Excellent. You found all three puzzle stones and learned how to use them. Barvin and I slipped past the pirates while you fought your way through the camp. I didn't technically fight my way through the camp. What do we do with the puzzle stones now? The hist led us here. Maybe the stones sought me out because I know how to use them. Give them to me. I can make them work. I know it. The relics must be <coughs> nearby. Here you are. Just as I thought. Combined, the stones become a single object, a hist key. Barvin found what looks like an entrance into the ruins below, but it's magically sealed. I think this will open the door. What will we find? Ancient relics, but know this. The creations of my ancestors are not toys. Many possess aspects of the hist that were dangerous even then. I thank you for what you've done so far, but the danger isn't over. We must proceed carefully. All right. Take the his key to Barvin at the entrance to the ruins. He's there now, trying to open the door, but he can't do it without the his key. But that's probably a good thing. Why is that a good thing? The artifacts below are dangerous. I need to review my notes and see if I can figure out what we're dealing with. Tell Barvin to wait, or we may walk into some serious trouble. I'll take the key to Barvin and pass along your warning. There is the book. There's the book.
cursed. Why can't I pry this open? This is the way in. I think so, but it's magically sealed. My tools are useless. Whatever's in there must be really valuable. It must be significant. Looks like the rocks gave me this. This looks familiar. Looks drew something in one of his journals like this. What is it? A his key. Made it by fitting the three puzzles together, the stones together. Of course. I remember some of that old lizard's notes. This key won't just let us inside the Zanmir. Once we're inside, it'll protect us from the traps and the Zanmir's guardians. We can't wait any longer. We need to wait for looks under rocks. He'll be with us shortly. I'll wait inside. I won't stick around to be captured by the Red Reaper. If you're smart, you'll follow me. Looks can catch up to us. Can't wait any longer. I'm going in. Wait, don't go in. Stop. Wait, stop. There's great danger. What's wrong? My notes, that key. I figured out what's buried under the Zanmir, and it must stay buried. Parvin went in. We have to warn him. You don't want the relics. Oh, no. We need to leave them sealed in the Zanmir for all our sakes. We have to stop Barvin before he gets to the fangs of Sithis. What are the fangs of Sithis? Applied upon the land. In the hands of my ancestors, the fangs could be used to destroy whole villages. They turned crops to ash and created undead horrors out of my people's enemies. But that's not the worst of it. What could be worse than that? It is said that wielding the fangs gives you to Sithis, which casts all you are and all you could be into a great void. You see, the fangs consume the bearer's soul. They bestow you with great power, but strip away all that makes you a person. And how can we stop Barvin? Beat him to the fangs, but it won't be easy. The ruins are full of traps and guardians, and Barvin has a tremendous advantage. The his key will let him bypass most of these dangers. I'm afraid I can't go with you. I'm not strong enough. Is there any way you can help? Perhaps. My ancestors created the traps so that their descendants could bypass them. If you encounter a trap, the solution should be somewhere nearby. There's no protection from the guardians beyond the hist key, unfortunately. Mm. Sunscale ruins. I hear the fang. It calls to me. Like Secunda follows Master, this Sithis follows the Night Mother. Her husband pursues, but she seldom pauses, leaving him eternally in shadow. Sithis has many names and many parents, or not none at all. But his fangs, the fangs of Sithis, still bite. They take particular pleasure in envenoming the weak-minded, the foolish, the greedy, or the headstrong. But the fangs can destroy the powerful and the wise as well. Beware those born under the shadow. All those who seek to use its power, the downfall of our ancestors tied to the fangs of Sithis, our scales remain dark by, its, by his touch.
so this is ice. Die. Jesus Christ. Mind me, brah. See him. No, please. He lied. You want the facts. this madness, sir. The fang crawled into my mind. What have I done? I can't stop it from gnawing my thoughts. Help me! Give me the fangs of Sithis. What are you going to do? It's gnawing at my mind. If I give it to you, I'll go mad. I'll die. Here, take it. There's only one, I swear. I don't know where the other fang is. That thing burrowed into my mind. I never want to see it again. Never. I'll take this to looks under rocks. I'm assuming. You're back. Did you stop Barvin? And the fangs? Did you get the fangs of Sithis? The fang Barvin took strong, strongly affected him. He survived, but barely. Give me the fang. I've got a special coffer to shield me from its magic. What happened to Barvin need not happen to anyone else. Poor bastard. I'm glad he survived. But he only had one fang of Sithis? There should be two. Hmm. Pirates must have gotten into the ruins. This door to the Zonmir isn't sealed. I'll wager the commotion I heard from the pirate ship. Ooh, I love missing it. Thing. If it affects them like it affected Barbin, I wouldn't be surprised. I heard pirates beg Captain Arevi for mercy, then screams. That's the other Fang's influence at work. I'll take the first Fang of Sithis to our secondary camp not far from here. Get the other fang away from the pirates and meet me there. Get the fang. Oh, my God. 
What the shit? Where the fuck did you come you guys from? Oh, hello. together in You survived. Truly the hist guides you. But did you succeed? Yep. I thank you, as should all Argonians. It would have been better had the fangs been left buried, but now they've been unearthed, we must keep them safe. So far, you're the only person unaffected by them. Why is that? I'm not sure. It worries me, but not as much as the fangs in the wrong hands. Here, take the first fang while I consider what we should do with them. Okay. Stop. Don't move, or I'll strike you down. Stop. You have no idea what you're doing. Those relics are the property of the Night Mother. We felt their emanations the moment you removed them from their resting places, thief. Give them to me, or pay the price. For you. Sharaba of the Shadow Scales. The fangs of Sithis must not fall into the hands of the ignorant. Hand them over, or face the Night Mother's wrath. And we went through a lot, a lot to get these fangs. Why are they so important? The fangs were gifts from the Dark Husband to the Night Mother. Sithis gave them to her, and we model our weapons after them. If these are truly the original fangs, they are both great and terrible artifacts. And they belong to the Shadow Scales. The fangs are powerful relics from another age that would overwhelm your soul. I'm I have surprised no soul. they haven't already. <laughs> like, my character has no soul. <laughs> and if that's not a good enough reason, we'll kill you if you keep them. Decide now. Mm-hmm. The Shadow Scales want the fangs of Sithis. There are so many of them, but they're dangerous. The fangs in the hands of assassins? I can't imagine anything worse. We've seen what the fangs do, can do to people. Will the Shadow Scales be able to control them? I don't know. But even if they can, then what? The Shadow Scales undergo rigorous mental, physical, and spiritual training from an early age. Maybe they could hold the fangs safely, but wouldn't that make them too powerful? All right. 
Do not cross the shadow scales. We have a long reach and even longer memories. The fangs are our birthright. They are dangerous, yes, but the Night Mother will shield us from the worst of their influence. And if they overwhelm me, the other shadow scales won't hesitate to send me back to the Hist. You are wise. I see now why you were the one destined to recover the fangs. Give them to me. I swear we will keep them safe. We'll keep the fangs safe, as well as your friend here. He will be honored by the Shadow Scales for what he did. For you, I have a gift. This is one of the weapons I spoke of made in the Fang's image. Wield it well. So one of the things that I, you know, kind of experimented with is um, I uploaded a two hour video, um, which, by the way, you should definitely check out. Um, is it all the way over here? Um, where uh, where I went through Black Mo uh, Shadowfin. And, um, apart from, like, one crash, um, it definitely went all right. No. Oh, I couldn't. Never mind. And this over here is where something happens, I don't know. Is where, like, uh, if you've ever done the New Life Festival, this is where you would get all the fish and stuff. I'm sorry, they forced me to do it. I had no choice. Hello? Yeah, here. I'm stuck. Screw off. My eternal thanks. That's a first. That's a very first. The definite first. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. I forgot I put all my lockpicks away. Um, where are with the draw? Search.
Party. By the way, guys, if you want to hang out, um, I will be making a Discord soon. Um, uh, so, if you're ever curious, um, I'll be making a Discord secure and, you know, safe. And, um, so, look out for that. I wanted to kind of wait until I had more of a community, but seeing as how I mean, you can call it a community, but, but yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there. So look, look for that in the coming days or, or probably weeks or something or months or it'll probably like take a few months before I get it all set up. How will I ever get it back? I cannot... How will I ever get it back? I cannot live without my loot. You lost your loot? Yes. That trickster, Arkishan, fooled me into playing her riddle game for a chance at winning some gold. When I failed to answer her riddles correctly and had no coin to give her, she took my loot as payment. How can I help? Please talk to Akishan. I begged her to return my loot so I might earn the coin to pay her, but she refused to give it back. She suggested another game of riddles, but I have nothing left to gamble. I'll talk to Akishan for you. <laughs> she should be just up the road by the hatching pools, waiting for another mark. She's crafty. Don't let her trick you into large bets. It was crafted by my grandfather. Over the years, its sweet sound has brought joy to the hearts of sullen audiences and tears to the most stoic warriors. I've yet to find its equal. I sought a shortcut to buying a home in Stormhold. I thought myself a match for that scaly trickster, but my mind blanked when confronted by her riddles. I should have stuck to musical competitions. Mm. Stretch your tail here in peace. What brings you to the hatching pools? I'd like to recover a run -in 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 loot. Hmm. I do not return items lost on a bet. Did he tell you he lost it gambling? Perhaps you're a gambler as well. Would you like to win it back? What do I have to do? I ask no gold. Merely your time and effort. You will play a game of riddles with old Akishan. If you answer correctly, I will give you the loot. You won the loot by asking riddles. Can you answer mine? An intriguing proposal. It has been long since anyone challenged me. Yes, I will hear your riddle. If I cannot answer it, the loot is yours. What can be made and broken, but not touched? Hmm. I have never heard the like. May I have another clue? You can never keep it until it is given. Is... is it love? No. I promise. Ah, 
I am honored you chose to share your riddle with me. Here, you may have the loot. I hope you share your wisdom with Aranenen so that he never again gambles away such a fine instrument. You. Get my loot from Akishan. Yes. By the three, you did it! You saved my life and returned my livelihood. I don't have much, but what little I have is yours. I'll earn it back and more when they hear me play in Stormhold. You gamble again. Never again. I sought a shortcut to riches and nearly lost everything. A fool and his loot are soon parted, my father used to say. Had I listened to him, I would have avoided this folly. That's good to hear. You have my never-ending thanks. If I should meet a singer in my travels, I'll commission a song in your honor. Luck to your house, my friend. If I had a house. Mm -hmm. Of course it crashes. Let's get back to the game. Well, that's too... I, I don't know why ESO is crash... You know, it could be my internet. It could be my computer. It could be my internet. I don't know. Of course, my controller decides to disconnect on me. Let's do this quest and then end it. You're very lucky. Rhea risked her life by dragging you out of that poison gas. Most Imperials aren't so partial to members of the Pact, but she's naive. What are Imperials doing in Shadowfen? Cleaning up a mess. I bear no responsibility for it, mind you. If Rhea and her diplomat father hadn't created such an uproar about poison harming backward swamp dwellers, I wouldn't be here in the first place. What do you mean? Due to a clerical error, the Empire sent poison downriver in a trash shipment. Certain people feel we are responsible. Sloshing about in the muck is beneath me. But you don't seem to mind. How about it? Solid Imperial coin for cleaning up this mess? I'll do what I can. What do you need? Rhea needs the husk of a giant wasp for some sort of container. I'm sure she'll be happy to tell you all about it. Just bring the husk back to our camp. Marius cares only for himself. When I was dragging you out of that poison, he did nothing. In fact, he mocked me. Thanks for saving me. That poison wouldn't be here if not for Imperial incompetence. I'm here to make sure it can't harm any more people in this swamp. Imperial cities have thrown their trash into the rivers for years. The water takes it away from them, so what do they care? Well, I'm tired of us treating everywhere else like garbage. That's how this poison found its way to Shadowfen. 
I shouldn't tell you this, but I don't care about rank. The gas is an experimental weapon deemed too dangerous for use on the battlefield. It was supposed to be locked away in the catacombs of the Imperial City, but that obviously didn't happen. I've created an enchantment that will allow us to capture the gas. However, I need special containers to use the enchantment on. That's where the wasp husk comes in. Okay, so I've always gone with Rhea with this, um, but I'm very curious to see if what I go with the Imperial this time around. Well, that took you long enough. Did you get stuck in the mud? Don't mind Marius. He was ordered here to look after the interests of the Empire. But really, all he cares for is his own advancement. Ask. Excellent. Just give me a moment and... Done. What is done? I've enchanted this container to draw poison within it. Place it in the path of the roaming poison. Once the container collects the poison, you can safely recover it. We need to hurry. I hope no one else has been hurt. Oh? I assumed you were part of the cleanup. What's Marius planning? I don't know you well enough to ask a favor, but I implore you to listen. I fear what Marius plans for the poison. What are you asking? Once you've collected the poison, bring it to me. I... It's Marius. He wants to speak with you. Please, tell him nothing of what I... You have a container. Good. Are you ready for what's next? Ready? Ray and I will take care of the poison in this region. You handle everything past Hismir. Once you've collected the poison, bring it to me at the disposal site near Zuok. Rhea would rather do what's right than what's necessary. I'm a soldier. I don't have that luxury. Look, I'm willing to pay handsomely for your help. If you decide you don't want the money, be on your way. Let's move out!
Oh shit. I'm just going in uh, to all sorts of enemies, aren't I? Fucker. All over fucking Shadowfen, Jesus Christ. Yeah, because um, Rhea unfortunately uses stuff that would resemble like a Molag ball type. Uh, fuck you, alligators, crocodiles, whatever. Have the poison gas quickly now give it to me this is the last of it then anyone who tries to stand in my way will regret it here's your coin as promised now be gone there's much work to be done to oblivion with your interference for the empire okay so they're both dicks <laughs> so they're both dicks they're both assholes So they're both assholes. Okay, that's good to know. I 
Well, they're both assholes. Not the Rajin Shadow. Zara thought you another monster coming up to. Do not surprise Zara again. What are you doing? Zara asks you that question. Skulking about, sneaking up. Announce yourself next time. Zara might have clawed you to shreds. What would you do then? Jacobs, I thought you were one of them. One of one of them? This place crawls with Fenlord servants. Left behind when they created the Crown of Ascension. Zara came here looking for it, but did not expect so much resistance. You will help, yes? Zara will make it worth your while. I'll help. Step light. Fenlords do not keep lazy servants. They could be on us in a flick of a tail. What is the Crown of Ascension? Of, of Ascension? Some say it is a tomb. Will the Fen Lords encase themselves in ice to wait out the long ages? Others suggest a jewel encrusted crown that reveals all places and possibilities at once. Alien necromancer kings who once ruled Black Marsh. When their slaves rose against them, the Fen Lords had them executed and revived as undead. Unknown. Some say they created the Crown of Ascension and left Nern forever. Others claim they were overwhelmed by Alicia's rebellion. What matters to Zara is finding the Crown of Ascension, obtaining it, and getting out of here alive. A fine goal, no? Does it matter? It is old and very well guarded. If we gain it, we will be renowned. If it is powerful, we become powerful. Whatever happens, our names will be sung throughout the ages. This is not a worthy goal. If it is big, leave it. And sell the location to any who would have it. If it is small, take it and find the highest bidder. If it is powerful, well, some things are best kept to oneself, yes. What's in it for me? As companion to famous Zara. A share in my fame, of course. But you mean compensation, yes? Zara has a cash reserved for this very thing. Do not worry. You will be paid well. Studying the dead. Learning more about them. They have no minds, yes? Nothing to fill the space between the ears. Replaced with magic. Old magic. Fortunately, there are ways around that. What do you mean? Even in death, the Fen Lords distrust their servants. To guard against rebellion, they inserted control icons into the heads of their arisen slaves. Zara found one. With it, I hoped to gain passage through this place. But its magic is stale. Does not work well. Magic has faded, yes? It is enough to stop one of these monsters in its tracks, but only for a time. Zara was barely able to overcome the one at our feet. This is why I need your help. May I have the stone? With regret, no. Zara is very clever, but not so strong. If the moons do not smile on us, this stone may be Zara's only escape. If you think it best, Zara agrees. Your help is needed to supplement Zara's cleverness. As you see, Zara is Zara. Join the guild, but that wasn't for me. 
Too much sitting and waiting for orders. Bah! Alkosh waits for no one. Why should Zara? Which guild? Mages. To find things that are hidden. They have the most exquisite libraries in Dune. Row after row of books. It's easy to see how things become lost. Then again, there is a guild for that too. What do you mean? Just as one finds things that are lost, another may lose things that are found. There is profit in both. Neither much tolerates the competition. Creepy collar crawlies. Do you feel that? Like ice running down Zara's back. Care is needed.
I have no idea why I'm going through all these books just, you know, for whatever. Wrongness surrounds us. Step softly. Worried for a moment, but we've done it. The crown of ascension is ours. What now? Travel to Alton Coroman to have it appraised. Surely Zara has dealt with Captain One Eye in the past. She is wily, but Zara is her match. Here is compensation for your efforts. Rest assured, you will be remembered when Zara tells the tale. enough. Began exploring this alien ruin. Massive bookcases lined the walls in some areas. Unfortunately, the tomb cro The tombs... The tomes crumble when when we've attempted to to remove them. Saddens me to think of the knowledge lost in time. Told told 
nail, 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 nut, nail, I think, not to touch it. And now, strange sounds from the tombs. Sounds like something is crawling, clawing nearby. See what we, we, we can collect before we leave. Time. Dead have risen. And I can't find the exit. Oh, God. So I got a comment on one of my older videos. I won't mention who it is. I didn't even, I, it's just like, oh, hello. You noob. Ha ha, too slow, motherfucker. No, I'm kidding. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that much of a dick. Um, yeah, I was uh, reading a comment. I, I won't repeat what it said, but it was like, I was like, reading it, I was like, oh, well, okay. It just didn't make sense what he said, basically, is, or, or, or they said. Didn't make sense whatsoever. I'm like, because it, it was one of those comments of like, it was one of those comments that, hello. Oh, uh, I, that, that's the Illitar. <laughs> it, it was one of those comments that it, it kind of like got you scratching your head like, why would you leave a comment like this? Like, 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 like who's going to care? You know, besides you. I certainly don't. Like, if I get a hate, like, like a comment that's supposed to be able, it's like, what, that's supposed to be impressive? <laughs> That's supposed to, you know, bring me down or whatever. I'm at the point in my life where I just don't give a flying crap. You know, that's that's what I say. That's what I say. If you're gonna leave, 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 leave hateful ass comments, then why? The soulless one thinks I can be defeated. Not so, fool. So like like hateful comments and shit is like eh whatever I'm I'm like yeah whatever <laughs> I, I I but I could tell like he was trying to be a, a dick about it or, or or they were trying to be a dick about it I'm like okay dude. you can go bye bye so comments like that just you know I'm like eh rolling my eyes, scratching, you know, <laughs> rolling my eyes, and it's like, okay, dude. Okay, dude.
And yes, I talk about comments all the time. Because it's because as YouTubers, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you leave me a comment, sure, I'll talk about it. But if it's not related to anything, you know what I'm like. Okay. But like I said, I, I I'm at the point in my life where I just you know, it doesn't affect me. It's like okay, um, I Oh, what could I get rid of that that I don't need? Only a fool. I actually want to buy those Dwarven Swords back. You've got... You want to do Not only did, 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 um, I was just, wait a Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-bum. 
Because I don't know where there's another, um... What's it called? Um... So, look, if you don't like, I, I, I always look at it this way. It's like, if you don't like my content, then don't watch it. <laughs> you know? Keeping no one's forcing me. you to watch my content, dude. Like, people. No one is. Welcome to... Oops. Hold on. Hold up. What can I put on my hands now?
I'm gonna do this one thing and then I'm gonna end the episode. Guard knows better. Someone also asked me, um, gosh, I can't remember the, um, I don't seem to person's name like was, but, um, if I would do the, um, this was on my old series, um, uh, if I would do the Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood, yes, um, however, I'll probably live stream that, and just kind of, like, grind out, yeah, but um, they had certain time. things, right? Um, ready for an advanced lock. Saw nothing. I'm down on my luck. Help me out. He's like, what happened to him all my shit? You think no contracts means no ears in town? 
Uh, she's like, I, I, I could just imagine the Argonia just like turning around and it's like, what happened to all my shit? Oh, uh, I could just imagine that. Just, it's sorry, it just made me laugh. It's like you just imagine a scenario that's like, what happened to all my shit? It's like, it's like those, like, um, uh, NPCs in Oblivion is like, stop, we've got a burglar. You know, and it's just comical. I can move on. I mean, it's not the proper way to level up your sneak, but okay. Or your ledgerman. I think the proper way is to... Well, I don't know. I know um, finding chests out in the world and stuff um will help with that but anyways guys i will end the episode here that's right now thank you very much all right well i will end the episode there it's been oh my god it's been over two hours um yeah so <sighs> wb what okay Anyways, um, yeah, I'll end the episode here, guys. If you enjoyed this episode and want more, let, let me know and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And, yeah, catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.